idea for Paya Pa came from uh, the German Bauhaus movement because after World War, after the World War, and they reconstructed Germany, it was the artists who came together. The, the very first thing that we have here are the founding members of Paya Pa. Edwin Bowen Chow, who was the artist, um, got together with friends of his back in the early 60s. You know, Payapa is the oldest art center in Kenya. It started in 1965, just two years after Kenya's independence. So some of, his, uh, some of the people that uh, started this with him, we have one here. This is um, Terry Hurst, who was a cartoonist. Here is Feroz Naroji, who is a, a lawyer here in Kenya. We have the late Hilary Gueno. Unfortunately, he just passed away about two weeks ago. Um, he was a journalist and is, is cited as the father of journalism here in, in Kenya. This is James Kogwana. He was the first director of broadcasting for VOK, which is now KBC, as we know. Well, Paya Pa has also had some very interesting uh, personalities who have come through here. So I gave him his name. This is Dick Gregory. He was an activist, a comedian, very, very serious. He even is President Jimmy Carter, who came to Paya Pa. And um, he's standing in front of the Freedom Fighter which was done by Samuel Wanjiao, and he's here with Elimo Wanjiao. He spent an hour here. I was told he spent... Art is a memory worth keeping, but seeing Paya Pa, the first art gallery in Kenya, lying in ruins, really pains. Only left under the management of this old couple. Elimo Wanjiao, a Christian artist from Tanzania, found his way to Kenya at the age of 24, after being invited to tell Jesus' life story by painting murals. And this was during the Mau Mau Rebellion here in Kenya. Individuals have come in place to help rebuild the historical gallery. This, uh, this uh, tree trunk was donated by Jeff Koinangi. You know, this was when just before he left for West Africa. But just like the tortoise symbol of the gallery, this goal will be achieved with time.